What was your reaction at, uh, at the news that your party is, is actually going to be taking its place in Parliament? Well, we'd seen the polls, so we knew it kind of logically, but <laughs> seeing those numbers on election night up on screen from the election authority, I just burst into tears. It was fantastic. I mean, it was such a relief that we actually made it. We'd fought for this for three and a half years, and we knew pretty much that the stake of civil liberties in the digital age were what was on the table for this election. For, for a grassroots party without funding, we've uh, gone the fastest into into a uh, into any parliament. Is Kennedy even on the radar screen for people like your party um, in terms of our where we are with copyright legislation? Absolutely, Canada is Canada has been. Um, very good at with withstanding pressure and historically and it's important to remember that legislators are not under pressure they can accept or reject anything they like they're not they don't need to listen to any lobby if they are under pressure it means that's because they accept to be under pressure from a particular lobby they don't need to accept that in the 2006 general elections for Parliament, we got 0.63% of the national vote. We were quite disappointed by that, but still we saw the numbers pointing upwards. So we figured to give it a couple of more years and we'll have explained what we are about to many enough people. And that's how it turned out. In last Sunday's election for the European Parliament, we got 7.1% of the vote, giving us one, one seat in Parliament, two seats if the Lisbon Treaty is ratified. And we were the largest party of citizens below 30. That means we'll just keep growing and growing. And I think that's sending a very strong signal to the established politicians. That signal is understand these issues, safeguard civil liberties against an old industry lobby, or you'll be out of a job. That's the strongest signal you can possibly send to politicians. What, is, what are your next goals? We're going to save. We're going to save free communication in an open society and we need to change Sweden, Europe and the rest of the world in that order. Of course, we're not the only ones fighting for this. This is a global activism movement. I mentioned that we're the largest party in the below 30 segment. That's not just in Sweden, that's all over the world. When we take place in uh, the European Parliament, it's just not going to be one person that takes a seat there. It's going, to, it's going to be hundreds of thousands, and that one person is just going to be their eyes and ears.